Hello friends, today we will learn how to create an elevator door in 3ds Max with automatic opening and closing. Start by selecting the door type, go to the object type drop down and select door. From the options, choose sliding door. Click and drag to create the length of the door. Click and drag again to define the width. Finally, click and drag one more time to set the height. You can manually adjust the height and length in the Object Properties panel. Test Door Functionality Use the slider to open and close the door. Notice that only one door panel slides by default. Uncheck the Flip Front Back option. Apply the Edit Poly modifier. Select the door panel that doesn't slide and delete it. Remove any parts between the doors as we don't need them. Apply the Symmetry modifier to mirror the first door panel. Return to Edit Poly mode and adjust the polygon to create a surrounding wall. Go back to the door object. If a warning pops up, simply click OK. Now animate the door movement using the slider as needed. Start by animating the door. Go to the first frame. Click on Auto. Navigate to the 50th frame. Set the door to open 100%. Move to the 100th frame. Set the door back to open 0%. Play the animation. Notice it's too fast because the door doesn't stay open long enough. To fix this, increase the timeline duration. Click on the small gear icon. Increase the end frame value. Hit OK. Adjust the timing to make the door stay open. Select the keyframe at the 50th frame. Hold Shift and drag it to duplicate the keyframe. This keeps the door open for a while. Repeat the same process for the last frame. To see the number of polygons, go to the Viewport menu, the plush button in the top left. Click Configure Viewports. Enable Show Statistics in Active Viewport and tick Additional Options if required. Click OK. Apply materials. Use a multi-object material for texturing. The first two slots are for the door frame. The third slot is for the center glass. The fourth slot is for the side walls. Thank you for watching. 
Please like, share, and subscribe for more tutorials.